Could you just elaborate on how tough the Miami Heat are to beat when the big three is clicking the way you guys were tonight? Uh, I mean, it was on our shoulders, honestly. I mean, we had to, you know, we had to figure out to will a game for us to, to play at the highest level. And, you know, when we all three of us clicking at the same time, we were a very tough team to beat. Mike, over on the left. Yeah, Mike Wise, Washington Post. Um, LeBron, um, you, never, you never get the feel of what Dwayne Wade is going to do some nights, it feels like, from outside perspective. Um, do you know something about him and, and how he could show up on a night like this when other nights he just looks like a woozy fighter walking down the court? Um, well, he's a competitor. And uh, every time he's doubted, he responds. And uh, you know, for him to go out there and play the way he played tonight, um, it was amazing. I mean, 32, six boards, four assists, and six steals. Um, the six steals let me know that he's, he's very active, both offensively and defensively. And uh, he went back in his bag today. He was flashed tonight. And uh, we needed every bit, every bit of it. And is, is he hurting, do you think, physically? Yeah, he you know? Of course he's hurting. He's been playing with a bum knee all year. So he's hurting, but he's not making no excuses about it. But, you know, a performance like tonight will make it feel better. Ethan, Ethan Skolnick, Palm Beach Post. Uh, LeBron, you talked about how you wanted to get out and run, get rebounds, get out in the open floor. You were able to do that pretty much from the beginning. Did you execute your game plan tonight the way that you wanted to? Uh, well, we, we had a game plan, and, and, you know, we played well. We played well um, offensively and defensively, and, you know, we needed it. Um, you know, we needed every, everybody contributions tonight from, uh, from the starters to the bench. And, um, you know, we stuck with the game plan um, even as they were making their run in the second quarter and some of the runs they made in the third. Joe. LeBron, in the fourth quarter when Dwayne had uh, – when Spo had to pull you out um, so you could catch your breath, you know, you, you look like you're extremely gassed. What, um, you know, how much, um, how big of a break did you need right there? Uh, well, I mean, I, I needed a break uh, a few minutes for sure. I gave it everything that I had. I went, I was just playing as hard as I could till the tank was empty. And, uh, you know, that's, that's how it's going to have to be for the rest of the series. I mean, um, I was just trying to, you know, keep, the, keep my foot on the gas, you know, me personally. And just play till, like I said, till, till the tank was empty. And, you know, that's why we got guys that can come in uh, when guys get tired to just keep the momentum going. Greg. LeBron, hi. Uh, Greg Doyle from CBSSports.com. You, you've talked a few times this series about shooters need to see the ball go through the basket. Um, you saw it go through the basket for the first time, midway through the first quarter, and then kind of took off. How big was that? North Cole hit you with that pass, you hit the bucket, and then you took off? Um, well, I just came in the game confident. Um, before I even made a shot, I came in the game confident. I knew what my mindset was going to be. And uh, I didn't worry about last game. You know, last game was history. And uh, I just worried on the present. Um, you know, and I'm you know, blessed and happy that I was able to make a contribution to our win tonight. Michael. LeBron, you guys talk a lot about you know, must wins and, and coming back when your back is against the wall. Is the next challenge now to try to handle prosperity and put two of these wins together? You guys hadn't had two consecutive playoff wins in about three weeks. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. Uh, you said it perfectly. We, can, uh, we can't wait till our back is against the wall every time to, make it, to, to respond. We have to uh, you know, build some, some momentum. And uh, we can use tonight um, you know, as momentum, but we still have work to do. We still got to get better. Um, you know, there were some stretches tonight where we didn't play well. Um, and, and if we understand and if we own that, uh, we come in with a, with a mindset on Sunday that uh, we are desperate once again and, and our back is against the wall. So uh, it's going to be a challenge for us, and we have to be ready for that. Ramona, Steve, and Tim, last three on this. Hey, LeBron, it sounds like what you were saying earlier is that you've, let, you've learned how not to let games snowball on you, bad games snowball on you. Is that something you've just learned over the course of your career? And if so, how did you, how did you learn that? Uh, I'm blessed to, to have, uh, I guess, a, a next day, you know, and, and, and in our sport, well, I'm, I, I never went to college, so I didn't, I never had to worry about the, the, if you lose the first one, then it's like, oh, I don't have another opportunity. 
And it's not saying I'm taking the game for granted. I just know there's a tomorrow. And, and I can't worry about, you know, what happened yesterday. And, and that's what I've been able to do. Um, uh, as bad as I played in game three, um, I put all the pressure on me to say I, I can't afford to play like that and, and hope for us to win. Um, not at this level. So um, I was able to forget about it. Um, it was, it hurt. I watched the film. It hurt watching it. Uh, you know, I didn't like the way I was playing. Um, but I just came in with a, with a whole new clean slate tonight. And uh, like I said, I was blessed to be able to make a few plays to help us win. Steve. Uh, Steve Ashburner, NBA.com. Uh, LeBron, you know what it is, uh, how it changes your dynamics when one of, of your big three maybe isn't there on a given night. What have you guys done in terms of the priority on Ginobili to, uh, you know, to cause him to, to struggle the way he has in the series? Uh, he's a big time player. And uh, against big time players, you just try to make it tough on them. And, uh, you know, that's what we've been trying to do. We've been trying to get high hands uh, on his pick and rolls. He's a great passer. Uh, when he raises for his threes, we try to get contests. Uh, when he drives the lane, we just try to get a body in front of him and contest him at the rim. And uh, sometimes uh, you're lucky, and sometimes you're in the right position. So uh, it's been a little bit of both. Tim, last one. Tim Reynolds, Associated Press. LeBron. You said the six steals from Dwayne showed you how active he was. What's the 25 shots show you as well as just about the activity? And secondly, as silly as this sounds, did he almost need to be reminded himself of what he's capable of after all he's heard about himself all playoffs? Uh, well, the 25 shots uh, let me know uh, that he was aggressive. Um, every shot that he had, he took. He didn't, he, he wasn't passive. He came off, they went under, he shot his jumper. Uh, in a transition, he attacked the rim. And he continued to attack throughout the game. And no matter how great you are, um, no matter what your resume is, uh, to have a game like this, it lets you know that uh, you still won bad. You know the next two words, I can't say my kids may be watching. So uh, that dude, was, uh, he was amazing. And like I said, he was, he was 06 flash tonight. And, uh, and we needed every, every bit of it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.